Okay, hello everyone. Um, in this video, I will be showing you how to add um, in the number base system. Okay, so we um, pick the first one. We have one zero one one zero plus one one zero one. Okay, so um, we have zero plus one, which is um, one here. We have 1 plus 0, which is 1. Then the next, we have 1 plus 1. Now, 1 plus 1 is 2, but we can't write 2. Um, that's because in the base 2, um, only 0 and 1 exists. Okay? There is no 2 in base 2. So what I do is I divide it by the base, which is 2, then write the remainder. Okay? So 2 divided by 2 is one remainder zero so i write the remainder which is zero then the one the quotient i write it this way so we now have one plus zero plus one that's one plus zero plus one okay that gives us two i can write two so two divided by the base which is two is one remainder zero so i write the remainder zero then the one we have it here then one plus one 2 I can write 2 so um, that is 1 remainder 0 the remainder is 0 then the 1 I can bring it over here so the answer is 1 0 0 0 1 1 okay so let's see the second example um, as we seek to understand this better so here we have um, 3 3 plus 5 6 and it's base 7 okay so we are adding in base 7 so 3 plus 6 is 9 we can write 9 um, 9 is not a number in base 7 so 9 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 2 so we write the remainder which is 2 okay then the 1 the question we take it this way so we have 1 plus um, 3 which is 4 plus 5 which is 9 I can write 9 so 9 divided by the base, 9 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 2. So I write the remainder here, then take carry over the 1, which would um, end up here. Okay? Now this is quite interesting. Let's see two more. Okay, so here we have um, the first one, 7A3 plus 2FF. Now whenever you see um, letters A, F, A, B, C, D, E, um, you know that we are dealing with base 16 okay so in base 16 a is 10 b is 11 c is 12 um, d is 13 e is 14 then f of course is 15 which is the highest number in base 16 okay so let us add these numbers Okay, so we have um, 7A3 um, plus 2FF, okay? So we have 3 plus F. F is 15, so 3 plus 15 is 18. Um, 18 is bigger than 16. I can write 18. So 18 divided by 16 is 1 remainder 2. I write the remainder, then I take 1 this way. So now we have 1 plus A, which is um, A is 10, so that's 11 plus f which is 15 11 plus 15 is 26 i can write 26 so 26 divided by 16 is 1 remainder 10 10 is a okay so the quotient 1 is what we have here so we have 1 um, plus 7 which is 8 and 8 plus 2 is 10 okay and 10 we can write 10 so it is a so the answer is a a2 Okay, so let's see the fourth one. Um, the fourth one is um, 1E. So we have 1E plus F5, okay? Um, e is um, 14 in base 16. So 14 plus 5 is 19. We can write 19. So 19 divided by the base, 19 divided by 16 is 1, remainder 3. So we write the remainder, then we take carry over 1. So that's 1 plus this one is 2 plus f. f is 15. So 2 plus 15 is 17. 17 divided by 16 is 1 remainder 1. So 
the remainder one then the other one is carried over here so 1e plus f5 is 1 1 3 okay so um don't forget to like and subscribe the video um i would be dropping an assignment quickly you can um, solve and post it in um in the comment section so you can try this e2 2 plus um 1 a f okay tell me what the answer is then we have one more um 2 4 5 um plus um 1 3 5 this we are adding in base 8 so leave um, you're adding in base 8 okay thank you very much